Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Donna Gray. I'm a stamping up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I wanted to bring you a super, super cute card using the beautiful Friendship stamp set. So you have to love flowery stamp sets. They get me every time. So I thought I would use a color combination today of Rococo Rose, Knight of Navy, Basic Gray and Gray Granite and I'm using combination of the flowers in this stamp set. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is bring in a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper because I'm going to be stamping off when I'm doing this. So I'm going to open up my Rococo Rose and I'm going to take this single flower stamp here out of our stamp set and I'm going to ink that up in Rococo Rose and I'm just going to randomly stamp around. So I want to have my stamping going around in like an L shape around the corner of my card. So that's the type of layout that I'm looking at is for that. So I've got four beautiful stamps of Rococo Rose. Then I'm going to bring in our gray granite and I'm going to use the two little flower, two little twin flowers there. So what I find is you start with a bigger, the bigger image first and then you fill in with your other images. So I'm going to stamp that there going to stamp another one up through here. Oh, and I missed stamp that one. Let's see if I can get that over that again. The beauty of these stamps are you can't tell because they are more like a watercolor type of wash stamp. So you couldn't tell that I actually messed up with my stamping there. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to bring in my Knight of Navy ink pad and I'm going to bring in this one here out of my stamp set. I'm going to ink that up and I'm just going to fill in some gaps here. So there, I might pop a little bit up there, need some in through here. I'd like to pop one up there, maybe a little one there. And maybe another little one poking in through here. And maybe just a couple of little bits in through there to fill up that. So all I've done is filled in some of the gaps. And I think I might want another little bit up through there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. The next thing what I want to do is I don't want too much of this white cardstock happening here, like the white space. So I decided to bring in my... Um, basic grey stamp and write marker and I'm just going to spritz so make sure you've got everything out of the way I'm just going to spritz my cardstock just to take that stark white look off so you grab your lid you grab the thick end and you just spritz pop a few spritz in around okay so as you can see I'll bring that up a little bit closer to the um to the camera as you can see that just creates a beautiful spritzed look on my layer okay so now what I want to do is I've got a, a little scrap piece of whisper white and I'm going to stamp um, the sentiment that says a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. So I'm thinking I could probably send this to one of my team members for working really hard and maybe promoting or um, just getting good sales for the month. So I'm just going to stamp that down on a piece of Whisper White. Okay, so I'm actually incorporating some framelits out of a different set which the set that I'm incorporating the framelits out of is the Band Together stamp set. 
but it's got some gorgeous framelits that go with it. Now, one of the framelits is this beautiful scrolly, um, it, it's actually meant to wrap around the front of your card. Um, and actually, yeah, no. Um, anyway, so I've decided to cut that out of our beautiful rose glimmer paper. I looked at it and thought, oh, that will look beautiful on there. Okay, so as you can see in this, it's got that oval shape. So I'm actually going to cut my sentiment out with that oval. So I'm just going to, and that comes in the framelits as well. So I'm just gonna pop that on and go and cut that out on my Big Shot machine. Okay, and there we have it. All right, so now it's actually time to start popping this card together. So what I decided to do was on this, I thought I'll do a Rococo Rose base, sorry, layer underneath. And I've got like just a 16th of an inch border all the way around. So I'll pop that on with some of my Tombow. Now I use liquid Tombow for the simple fact that I get the wiggle room. So with a really fine border like that, you need to be able to get it just right. So the liquid Tombow is my glue of choice. And I'm just going to pop that onto my layer. And as you can see, I can move it with my thumbs and just get it exactly where I want it. So just like so. All right. Now, my next thing I want to do is I want to bring in my Knight of Navy card base because I'll fold that. Now this Knight of Navy card base, it's cut out five and three quarter inches this way and eight inches this way. I'm going to fold that in half and use my bone folder to get a nice crease. Okay, and we're going to mount that up on dimensionals, I think, on the front. So pop some dimensionals on the back of that layer. Got a double whammy there. Just take those backings off. Whoop. And just adding dimension to your cards just gives it that bit of a wow factor. Okay, so I'm going to line that up on the front of my Knight of Navy card base like so. Okay, so you may look at this and think that that's too wide to fit on there, which is correct. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to snip a few pieces out of this and just turn it into just a frame. So I'm just going to snip it here and I'm going to snip it there and no one would ever know that those two little tabs were on there and snip it there okay so we end up with that which i think is gorgeous i could have used some of the rococo rose in color um, ribbon underneath and wrapped it around okay so i'm going to pop this sentiment up onto dimensionals I'm going to glue that, pop that into the center of that gorgeous frame. Okay. So just like so, it fits in the center of that just nicely. Okay, now I'm just going to glue that middle piece. I really don't have to glue all the outside edges. I'm quite happy for that to be able to sit freely on the front of my card. So I'm actually going to place that up there on the center of my card. Now we have some of these beautiful in color faceted dots. So I'm actually going to use some of those to pop on the front to add a little bit of bling. 
I'm actually just going to use, I think, the small ones. I'm just going to, oh, that one didn't work exactly like I was going to. Okay, so one there, one up here, and I'm thinking another one just down here, like so. Okay, so I actually stamped another one of the front layer that we have. So I'm actually going to use that as my insert layer. I probably wouldn't put as much as that on the inside, but I had it already pre-stamped. So I thought that would look quite nice on the inside of the card. So open that up and pop that on the inside. So it's still got lots and lots of space there for you to be able to write for something for the recipient. So hopefully you enjoyed that video today and that was using the beautiful friendship stamp set with our gorgeous Rococo Rose, Knight of Navy and Grey Granite. So Thank you all for watching and please feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If this is the first time you've watched me on YouTube, hit the subscribe button down below and turn on that bell notification right beside because you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Everything I have used in this video today can be purchased through my online store. If you live in Australia, you can purchase down below in the show more box. You will find the link to my online store and I would really, really appreciate your online business because that helps me bring you more videos like these. So hopefully you enjoyed that, guys. And until next time, have a lovely day. Bye for now.